Hello! Okay, finally I think I've got my camera working so that I can film August's workouts. So uh, we'll get st st uh, started straight away. We're going to start standing at the top of our mat. Toes touch, heels slightly apart. Just rooting down through the four corners of both your feet. Just taking a moment just to scan that pelvis. Make sure that your pelvis, your tailbone is tilted so it's pointing to the ground. Take a deep breath in, pull the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, open the shoulders out and squeeze the shoulder blades together as you pull them down. The palms begin to face forward rather than behind you. Don't force that if your palms are facing in towards your thighs, that's also good. We're just trying to open out the shoulders. Another deep breath in, pull the shoulders to the ears, hold here. And as you breathe out, pull those shoulder blades back into each other. Open your palms out one more time. Deep breath in. Pull the shoulders up. Exhale. Pull them back and down. <sighs> Root down through that base. Bringing that right arm up as you inhale. Slide your left fingertips down towards your left knee. Try to keep the right arm alongside the ear as you stretch all the way through that right side of your body. Inhale, come back up and bring that arm back alongside your right leg. Deep breath in. Raise up and reach, bring length before you start to slide over, keeping that arm alongside the ear. Everything is stacked and tall. Reaching away. Inhale, come back up. This time take both arms up into the air. Reach tall, exhale, forward fold. Leave with your heart. Draw your navel up and under. Fold the upper body forward. Let that body hang. The weight of your upper body is just gently stretching through the back of the legs. Engaging the thighs by pulling those kneecaps up and then as you breathe out, let go of those knees, let go of the muscles through the upper thigh. Inhale to flat back, draw your navel up and under. Lengthening through the spine, energy leaving through the top of the head. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, flat back, hands to the shins or the earth. Gently squeezing your shoulder blades in towards your midline. Lifting and pressing that chest forward. Exhale, lengthen again through the back of the legs. Let that head hang, let the weight of your upper body gently pull that stretch in through the lower back, the hips and the thighs. Inhale to flat back, sink the chest. Exhale, bend your knees, palm your hands, step back to all fours. When you're on all fours, make sure that your joints are stacked on top of each other. So your shoulders are above your wrists, your knees below your hips. Rotate your inner elbow forward. Draw that belly up and under. Take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, press that right heel out behind you, keeping the foot flexed, keeping the pelvis centered. So both hip bones are facing towards the sky, uh, towards the mat, sorry. Deep inhale here. As you breathe out, pull that back knee into your chest. Gently tuck your chin and your head into your knee and press that heel away on your exhale. Lift the chin slightly at the top. Again, pulling that knee up nice and high to the torso. Tuck the head, engage those abdominal muscles and exhale. Push that heel away, lift your chin. We're gonna go one more time. Inhale, pull that knee into the chest. Tuck the head, tuck the chin and exhale. Heel away, lift the chin gently. Come back to all fours, gently pressing that left heel out behind you. Again, making sure your pelvis is centered so your 
hip bones are facing the ground. Tip your body weight slightly forward so that you really feel that core engage. Deep breath in here, pull that knee into the chest, tuck that head high to the torso. Exhale, push away, lift the chin. Again, pulling that knee in nice and high to the body, tucking in as tight as you can, engaging those core muscles and left heel leads as you push away, lift the chin. One last time, tucking in, drawing up through the lower belly, and inhale it back, lift the chin, press the heel away. Come back to all fours, just rock from side to side here, and gently sit back on the heels, stretching through the front of the ankles. If you can comfortably just let your body weight rest on your feet, then let the top of the ankle stretch. If you find that a little uncomfortable in your knees or in your ankles, then use a block to just help support your bottom underneath your sit bones. So staying in this kneeling position here, send to that pelvis once again, make sure you're not pressing your tail out behind you, you're pointing it down towards the ground and work your way up from the bottom of that tail all the way up to the top of the spine, really tall and straight. Deep breath in, pull the shoulders to the ears. Exhale and open up as you lift that chest, pull the shoulder blades into the midline and open your palms out to the front of the room. Deep inhales, lifting that chest, lifting the heart as you do so. Exhale, sink the shoulders, lengthen the neck. Take a deep breath in here and let those arms rise up, lengthen through both side waists. Feel that stretch through the front of the thighs, all the way up through the sides of the body. Pull the shoulder blades down, lifting the head or the gaze up towards the hands if you can comfortably. If you feel unstable, gazing straight ahead is also fine. As you breathe out, you're gonna pull that left hand forward, right hand back and twist through the upper body, keeping that pelvis facing front. Inhale, come up. We're gonna drop this to the other side. Right hand forward, left hand back. Twist it out, stay lifted in the chest. And inhale up. We're gonna do one more each way. Make sure you bring lots of length. Exaggerate that stretch. Always reaching with the fingers. Dropping that shoulder girdle as you inhale. Last time here on the left. Right hand forward, left hand back. And inhale, come on up. Exhale, take your hands down in front of you. Make sure your shoulders stack right up on top of those wrists. Come back to all fours. Just give those feet a wiggle, let the blood come back in. You can roll your ankles one way and then the other. Flip your toes, gently push your hips up and back into your first down dog. Immediately start to pedal those legs and rock your hips as you sink your chest and let go of your head and your neck. Encouraging the heels one at a time down towards the earth. Feel that length coming in through the back of the ribs as you twist in that pedal. And then landing in as low a down dog as you can. You can keep your knees bent for the first few rounds if you find that more comfortable. Taking your right hand, grabbing hold of your left ankle or as low down your leg as you can manage. Looking under your left arm towards the ceiling. Try to press your heels to the ground. Breathing deeply. Exhale, release your hands, bring that left hand to grab a hold of your right ankle, looking underneath your right arm towards the ceiling. Again, you're trying to stay low in the heels, centered in your hips. Breathing smoothly. If you can't quite reach the ankle, just grab as low as you can down the leg. 
Exhale, bring that hand back into a down dog. Give it a little pedal, bend the knees, lift the chin. We're gonna step that right foot through, pull the knee to the chest, lift the foot through, ground the left knee, flip the left foot, come on up to crescent, reach it up, sink your shoulder girdle. Interlace those fingers, center the body, Take a deep breath in, bring length to the side waist and exhale over to your right side. Really pushing that left hip out towards the left side of the room. Bring your gaze out to the left or up to the ceiling, however feels more comfortable. Keeping the arms alongside the ears. Really feeling that stretch through that left side body. Inhale, come back up to that center, reach tall, keep the shoulders low, come over to the other side. Again, reaching those fingertips up and away, gazing towards the ceiling or out to the side. Staying nice and centered, breathing deeply, inhale, come back up to center, exhale, float your hands down, flip the back foot, coming into a nice low lunge, the back knee is off the ground, your left fingers are lined up with your right toes, reach that right arm up, open your heart out as you let the hips sink. Now if you prefer, you can land the knee here, or you can stay off of the knee and really push through the hips as deep as you can. Stacking your shoulders, reaching forward now with that right arm, lengthening through the right side of the body, all the way from the hip. Exhale, float your hands down, step back to a plank, you can drop the knees here if you wish. We're gonna chaturanga, chin forward and down, elbows to the ribs. Inhale, up dog, lift out of the knees if it's comfortable. Come on back to plank. Again, chaturanga with or without your knees. Push to plank, lift your hips up and back, pedal. Shake it out, reset the body, let go of the tension. <sighs> let go of the head and the neck. Deep inhale, as you breathe out, bend the knees, lift the chin. You're pulling that left knee into the chest, stepping it through, grounding the right knee, flip the right foot. Come on up, reach tall. Drop your shoulder girdle, gazing up, interlace the fingers. Keeping that tailbone pointing to the ground so the pelvis is in neutral. Take a deep breath in, bring that length. Exhale over to the left, keeping your arms alongside your ears, reaching the fingers up and away. Really push your right hip out to the side. You can bring your gaze up towards the ceiling if it's comfortable to do so, making sure you keep your shoulder girdle low as you reach those arms forward. Take a deep breath in, exhale gently and slowly over the other way, <clears throat> keeping that balance. Again, you can gaze up or out to the side, breathing smoothly. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, hands down. Lifting out of the back knee, you're gonna drop in the hip and feel that stretch as deep as you can. Now, if you want, you can drop your knee back down or you can stay off of it. Line your fingers and your toes up. Inhale, the left arm reaches. Stack your shoulders one on top of the other as you sink into those hips. Deep breath in, bring length, exhale, that left hand reaches forward. Inhale, 
inhale back up exhale hand comes down step back to a plank with or without knee shift forward lower the chin inhale up dog lift your heart up and through back to plank chaturanga push to plank send the hips up and back pedal out well done come back down onto your knees knees touch flip your feet so you're stretching in the top of those ankles sit back nice and tall deep breath in lift those shoulders to the ears exhale as you breathe out you're going to lower the shoulders and pull them back into the midline sitting nice and tall inhale the arms up sink the shoulder girdle exhale right hand forward left hand back reach it round lift that torso inhale back up exhale left hand forward right hand back twist it round keeping that pelvis centered inhale one more each way exhale left hand back right hand forward inhale up and other way really twisting and lifting through the heart inhale back up exhale float the hands down come on back to down dog pedal those legs just get comfortable here shake out or release any tension that may have built up and just try to sink that chest sink those heels draw your belly up and under centering the mind with a few deep breaths here One more nice deep inhale fill the lungs all the way deep breath in through the nose keep breathing in and then slowly blow that air away through the mouth completely emptying the lungs come back to a nice relaxed breath Bend the knees, lift the chin, pull that right knee into the chest, step the right foot through and ground that back knee. We're going to come up and forward with that right arm, reaching up and lift the back leg, pressing into the very top of the knee or the lowest part of the thigh. Reach back behind you now, grab a hold of your foot. You can use a block here if you want, or come up onto the fingertips, or if you can keep your whole hand grounded, go for it. We're gonna press the hip forward and really feel an intense stretch through those back quads. And we're gonna just lift the chest up as you twist and open out to look behind you. Really pressing down in that hip letting go try to stay as grounded as you can through your right foot although you will probably roll a little bit into that knife edge releasing that foot exhale come down step back to plank and bring this to the left side plank stack your shoulders one on top of the other drop this lower knee Go ahead, bend, lift that right leg and bend the back of the right knee. Reaching down, grabbing hold of that ankle. Once again, push your pelvis forward, looking out behind your shoulder. Really press the hips forward, hold that balance. Release the leg, reach to the sky, stretching that right heel out as you do so. Stay lifted in that right leg. Now reach forward in that right arm. Come on back to plank here. And take this down in a chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. 
back into plank again with a chaturanga now push to plank and downward dog pedal release tension if you have it sink nice few deep breaths here Another deep breath in through the nose. Exhaling fully out through the mouth. Bend the knees, lift your chin, pull your left knee into your chest, step through, ground that back knee and reach that left arm up. Go ahead, bend the back knee and rest right on the top of the knee or the lowest part of your thigh reach back behind you now you can grab your block and rest this right hand on a block or you can um, rest on your fingertips you choose how low you want to go you're going to press into that hip as you lift your chest and look behind you really twisting in that upper torso and letting go of the hips staying as grounded as you can through the left foot Exhale, bring that left hand back up. Take this left hand down and come into your right side plank. Right hand stacked underneath the left shoulder. Drop your right knee, lift your left leg. Make sure the foot is flexed, energy is leaving through the heel. Again, bend the knee, pull that heel to the buttock, grab a hold of your ankle and push your hip forward. As you do that, you're twisting and looking behind you again as much as you can, really lifting your heart up and out, pressing your hips forward, all the while balancing through that right side body. Two more breaths. And exhale, let go of that leg, keep it straight out and reach that left arm forward. Energy is leaving through the fingertips and the heel. Exhale, come on over to plank, move through a vinyasa again, chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Back to plank, chaturanga, lift it back and pedal those legs well done go ahead shake out the wrists come on down to your knees knees touch flip your feet rest in the tops of the feet here stretching the ankles make sure that you're not rolling into the inner edge or the outer edge of your feet make sure it's a nice centered stretch through the front of that ankle joint deep breath in pull the out uh, the shoulders to the ears Exhale, slide them down and back. Palms facing forward. A few deep breaths. Inhale, shoulders to ears. Exhale, pull those shoulder blades back as you lift your heart. Be really careful here that you don't start arching your lower back so that you can get more of a lifted uh, rib cage. You want to lift the rib cage but keep that lumbar spine nice and neutral. The movement is through this upper body. Inhale, rising up with those fingers, interlace at the top. Make sure the shoulder girdle is low stretching out to the right arms alongside the ears inhale up exhale to the left inhale up and exhale into cactus pull those elbows into the rib cage and squeeze your shoulder blades as if you're trying to get them to touch palms face forward 
Come on up now to a high kneeling position and twisting again through the upper body, trying to keep the pelvis as centered as you can. Open your palms out to the side wall, trying to keep them back and level with your chest. Inhale, stay with the twist, but reach the arms up. And now reach them back. Keep that tailbone tucked. Exhale, bring it back to center. Deep breath in, lengthen through the side body. Keep your tailbone tucked. Exhale, elbows to the ribs. Pull the shoulder blades back. Exhale, twisting out to the left again, trying to stay centered through the pelvis and really twist through that upper spine, keeping the hands back level with the chest. Inhale, press the arms up, stay with that twist and reach it back, keeping that tailbone tucked. Deep breath in, come back into center. Exhale, bring those hands back and lift the hips into down dog. Go ahead, pedal the legs. Feel that release through the lower spine. Draw your belly up and under. Deep breath in, pull your right knee to your chest. Shift your body forward. Pull it back. Shift your body forward. Pull it back. Keep that knee high to the body. Engage those core muscles. Two more times. Come as far forward as you can this time and now step your foot through. Come on up to a high lunge. Reach it tall. Make sure your hip width in your base so you feel stable. Interlace the fingers up above your head. Pull your shoulders down, tuck that tailbone. If your arms need a break at any point, I'll try not to fall over, bring your hands to your heart. <clears throat> but we're really trying to challenge those shoulders by keeping them up, lengthening through the side waist. Lower that back knee into a lunge, press through your front heel, come back up. This time lower the knee. Whilst you're down here, we're gonna bring the arms to reach forward and reach out to the right. Watch that balance, pull it back. Out to the left and back. Now up to the sky, press it up through the heel. Again, lower, reach to the right. Keep your arms straight, it's tempting to bend that leading arm, so really be mindful to keep your elbows straight. Come back, drop down reach out to the right and inhale exhale to the left arms are straight inhale back up press through the front heel two more times here lower reach to the right and to the left inhale back up press the front heel last time go low reach challenge yourself really work to your edge inhale and again reach to the left inhale up well done we're going to float those hands step to plank left side plank here drop the lower knee Stack your shoulders, arch that lower side body, lift your right leg. We're gonna crunch that right knee, right elbow for five, four, three, two, and reach. Take that right foot back behind you, reach that right arm up and press your hips towards the ceiling. Reach the right arm forward, follow your thumb with your gaze. Reach back up, come back out and balance back into that side plank, crunch it in. One, two, three, 
four and five reach away drop your right toes to the ground behind you press your hips up reach for the sky and reach ahead one more time here inhale back to side plank crunch it in for one two three four and reach take that right foot back press your hips up reach it back come on over to plank with or without knees chaturanga here inhale up dog back to plank again chaturanga pull it back down dog pedal let that heart rate come down a little bit shake it out take a breather you can either breathe here in down dog or if you want have a little child's pose here for a minute or two sinking your chest letting go of that tension around the shoulders and the neck two more deep breaths and then meet me back here in down dog and exhale come back to down dog bend the knees lift the chin pull your left knee to your chest shift forward and back and forward and back and you're really trying to keep this knee high to the body really engaging those abdominal muscles two more one more time hold it forward lift your gaze step it through come up to high lunge make sure you're nice and hip width or even slightly wider if you need to be to balance toes are facing forward interlace those fingers pull your shoulder girdle down tuck your pelvis all right go ahead drop down in a lunge push back up through the front heel this time drop down hold as low as you can manage and reach come on out to the left arm stay straight you're twisting through the spine back again twist to the right really focusing on balancing and press it up again sink into that front heel reach over towards your left over towards your right back up again nice control really exaggerate your reach and your movement really twist in the spine keeping the elbows straight and press two more drop as low as you can balancing through that front heel to the right and inhale up last time sink keeping those arms as straight as you can easier said than done come on up and exhale hands come down toe your uh, come on to your right side plank drop your right knee lift that left leg energy is leaving that left heel go ahead pull the elbow to the knee five four three two and one drop the left toes behind you lift the hips and reach ahead gaze at your thumb really opening the hips and the chest out to the ceiling squeezing the glutes to keep that pelvis tucked up 
Come on back into that side plank. Crunch it in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your left toes, lift your hips, reach. Exhale, reach your head. And coming back here to that right side plank, lift that left leg. Energy is leaving the heel. Here we go, crunch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your toes back, open the hips and chest out. Reaching ahead with that length. Exhale, over to plank. Draw your belly up and under, tip forward, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, back to up dog. Lift that chest up and through, pull it back. With or without that second chaturanga, meet me in down dog, pedal out. Come on down to your knees. Sit back on those heels. Try to have your feet together, your knees together. Keep that tailbone tucked. Sitting up or kneeling up nice and tall. Deep breath in, pull the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, open out. Drawing that belly up and under, pointing that tailbone down. Bringing a block now as you come into your high kneeling position in between your thighs. You're going to squeeze that block or cushion or whatever you're improvising with. Squeeze the block as hard as you can and make sure you keep your pelvis in that neutral position. So we want to imagine your pelvis is a bucket of water and you don't want to spill any water forwards or backwards. Keep it nice and centered. Arms come up on your inhale. Squeezing the block. Exhale, elbows into the ribs, pull the shoulder blades back, really exaggerate, lift the heart. Remember you're not arching the lumbar spine. This is all through the upper body. Pulling back, lifting, engaging those upper shoulder muscles. Palms face forward, keep squeezing the block and twist through, really centering that pelvis. Try to keep the hands back, palms face forward. Squeeze that block even harder, reach the arms up and back. Exhale, come back into cactus through the center. Inhale, back up. Exhale, pull the elbows into cactus. Inhale, back up. Squeeze the block. Exhale, back. Twist it out here. Lifting that chest around. Try to keep the arms level. Keep squeezing. Reach up and back. Keep squeezing. And come back into center. Bringing those arms up into the air. Bring your body back as far as you can. Keep squeezing the block. Don't arch the spine. You're pulling this back through those core muscles. Come back forward. Again, pull it back. Lift the heart. The lumbar spine's in neutral. Stay nice and strong through those abs and back one more time pull it back engage those back muscles exhale back elbows to the ribs sit back down in those heels removing the block hopefully that block help you keep your pelvis in neutral and help to stop you using your lower back that's why we use that block there just to make sure that your core stays engaged Otherwise, you can hurt your back easily doing that. Okay, drawing the navel to the spine. 
Exhale, bring those hands forward. Press up to down dog, pedal those legs. Really twisting in the hips, stretching through those back muscles, relieving them and landing in your down dog. Deep breath in here, pull your right knee to your chest. Exhale forward, inhale back. Exhale forward, inhale back. Keep the knee high to the body. Forward, two more. Exhale forward, inhale back. Exhale, hold, lift that knee, step it through. High lunge here, reach it tall. Get your balance, lower down. Now press up and lead with that heel as you kick out. Down, lead with your heel to kick. It's a press rather than a kick. You're not throwing the leg, you're pressing your heel and lowering. Press and lower, press and lower. Three more. Keep those arms alongside the ears. Keep that shoulder girdle down. One more. Lower. Hold. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, palm your hands. Press your chest into your palms or into your hands as you lift and look behind you. Exhale, bring those fingertips either side of that front foot. Press to warrior three. Square that pelvis off. Lift that back heel. If you want, come out to an airplane balance. If not, keep those fingertips to the blocks or the earth. Bend the standing leg. Bend the back leg. Palms or sole of the foot facing the ceiling. Palms facing the ground. Reach those fingers out to the sides if you're balancing here, or at least trying to, like I am. <laughs> Straighten both legs, bend both legs. Straighten both legs, bend both legs. Three more. Straighten and bend them both. Straighten up and bend them both. And one last time. Straighten and then fingertips down back you go to that high lunge come on up <sighs> find your balance sit down press up sink down press up again down down last time hold it down left elbow right knee palm the hands press into the breastbone look behind you We're gonna take that left hand down, step back to a left side plank. With that left knee down or not, you choose here. We're gonna raise the right leg. Flex the foot, crunch it in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the right toes behind you, lift and reach. Back into that side plank with or without the knee and crunch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your right toes back, lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, reach. One last round. Come on out. Five, four, three, two, last one, take it back, reach it up, squeeze it up. All right, come on over to plank, with or without knees, chaturanga, up dog, plank, chaturanga, down dog, well done, pedal, we're going to 
gonna take a quick breather here into child's pose. Reach the arms forward. Sink the chest. Try to press the hips towards the heels. All right, pulling those elbows up, reaching the fingers forward, press to all fours. We're almost at the end here. One last final round to go. I know it's a tough one, but we can do it. Flip your toes, up you come, down dog. Pedal. Let's do this, pull that left knee to the chest, forward and back, forward. Leg is high and tight to the body, engage those abs. Two more, back, one more, step it through, high lunge, down and up, press through that front heel. Reaching the arms, sinking the shoulders. Two more. Last one, stay down. Right elbow, left knee, palm your hands together and twist it out, stacking your shoulders, looking behind you. Inhale, come on up, again, down and up, push through the front heel. Two more, one more time, twist it out, uh, right elbow, left knee, palms into the breastbone, twist as much as you can in that upper spine. Deep breath in, come on up, and exhale, hands down, warrior three. Get centered here, flex the back foot, make sure your pelvis stays square to the ground. Use your blocks if you need them. Flex the back foot. Arms out to balance if you're feeling daring today. Reach out to the side with those fingertips. Bend that standing leg. Bend that back leg. Sole of the foot faces the ceiling. Straighten up and sink. Straighten up both legs and sink. And straighten and sink. And up and sink, two more, straighten up, and sink, straighten up, and sink, fingertips down, you're taking the right hand down, right side plank, open, with or without the right knee, stack your shoulders, lift that left leg, crunch it in, five, four, Three, two, and take those toes back, lift the hips, reach forward, squeeze the glutes, lift those hips, back you come, right side plank, taking that balance, crunch, five, four, three, two and one take the toes back lift the hips almost there stay with me up to balance crunch five four three two and one toes back lift and stretch 
and come on over to plank, chaturanga, up dog, plank, chaturanga, down dog, well done, pedal those legs, come on down to child's pose, take a breather, When you're ready, just come to a kneeling position, knees together, grab a little drink, we're almost done, we're just going to do a few abdominal exercises to finish off before we stretch. Okay, inhale, shoulders to ears. Exhale, open that heart out. Breathe here, sink down through the center of the thighs and the feet and the ankles. Engage those tummy muscles. Come to all fours, take your left knee through and swing your right leg around. Come on to your bottom and take your block in between your knees. Squeeze that block, sit up tall, lift your heart. I'm gonna keep the hands on the top of the knees and roll down all the way onto your back. Now roll back up. Squeeze the block as you do this. Try to keep it a fluid motion. Keep squeezing the block. It makes all the difference. Squeeze, keep your ankles and your feet touching. Three more. Really pulling through the lower belly. One more time and come up. This time bring your arms across your chest and just do that same roll. This time you're really focusing on squeezing the block and pulling up through your abs. Four more here. Last one, come down and stay there. Now squeeze that block and take the legs out and pull them in. Roll up, come down. Squeeze, take the legs out, pull them in, roll and back. Squeeze and pull them out, back, roll. Oh yes, this will really get those lower tummy muscles working. We got five left here, push out, keep squeezing that block, roll, out, in, Roll, come out, pull it in, roll. One more, squeeze, out, in, and roll. Come down, take a rest, take the block away, bring the soles of the feet into one another, and just let everything open out to the sides. Resting in the inner thigh. All right, take that block back between your thighs, squeeze, knees up over the chest, keep your arms off the ground. You can either reach for the ceiling or rest your hands on your forehead, but just keep your arms off of the ground. We're gonna take the knees to the right and pull back. Take the knees to the left and pull back to the right and pull back, keep squeezing the block. And you wanna to get to that point of kind of where you feel like the point of no return. You wanna go past that easy level and get right over. So you have to really pull through those obliques to get back up. Two more each way, keep squeezing that block. 
One more each way. Now come over to the right and stay here. Reach up for 10, nine, eight. Keep squeezing that block. Six, five, four, three, two, and one over to the left. And 10, nine, eight, seven. Squeeze the block. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back into the center. Take that block out to the side and just stretching by pulling the soles of the feet together up as high to the sit bones as you can. Arms out in cactus, palms facing the ceiling. Nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, sink the body into the earth. Well done. If you managed to get that whole one workout done, because that was a pretty old school toughie. So good for you if you stuck with it. If not, try your next time. Another nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, just let go of all the muscles around the body, in the feet, the inner thigh, wiggle those toes. Let the pelvis rock into a comfortable position and your lower back gently lift away from the ground. No forcing. Releasing the muscles around the jaw, around the eyes and the forehead. Deep breath in, gently pulling the knees in line together. Pull them over the chest, hug into a ball, and roll up to a seated position on your mat. Sitting up nice and tall. Take your left hand over your right knee. Bring your fingertips into the earth. Lift as you twist out behind you. Inhale, come back. Swap sides, right hand over the left. Fingertips into the ground as you lift through that torso and twist it out on your exhale. And give yourselves a clap. Well done, everybody. I hope that that was fun for you. Um, and I will see you uh, in the hip class in a couple of days. Take care. Bye-bye.